All right, so we're going to be installing uh, infrastructure on Debbie because Ubuntu won't install on this box. So um, I've logged into the box. I'm on as root, and we're going to go ahead, grab some dependencies, and go from there. So um, first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and grab Git, git Car. Okay, I'll rejoin it in a sec. Okay, so that's <coughs> Git Car installed. Um, so we've got a load of dependencies that we need to grab, but we also need to grab the source as well. So getting the source is easy. It's just uh, cd user local canvas. So we just clone in the uh, the repository from Git and we join it once it's done. Okay, so that's the uh, <coughs> clone done. So now we're just going to go in and tell it to use a stable version okay so now we've got a load of dependencies that we need to install so we're just going to go ahead and grab them so I'm doing this as root because I'm too lazy to do any uh, pseudo aim so that's going to take another 10 minutes we'll come back once it's done okay so <coughs> we've got all the dependencies installed didn't seem to get any errors whatsoever, all unpacked fine, got them fine. So the next step is um, installing MySQL, um, which isn't listed as a dependency. So um, uh, MySQL common is, hold up, let me just check that. I see the lib MySQL, MySQL common. Let's see. Okay, so um, that's not actually listed as a dependency. I can't see it anywhere at later either. Um, so yeah, make sure you do that one. Or if I'm wrong, then I'll put a note on the video saying that I'm wrong. But it looks like that might just be missing in the docs. Okay, so once you get to this point, you're gonna just pop in a password. For me, I'm just gonna whack in password because it's just for test. <coughs> Again, another password. This shouldn't take too long. So, um, we have a few choices for getting uh, Ruby up to date. So, we need 1.8.7. Uh, Ruby and that's going to require that we do probably an RVM install um, and basically we just we install RVM with a command from the RVM website um, which is um, once it's up we'll see the first thing we'll do is we'll just do Ruby version okay so we're 1.8.7 from the get-go and that's what we need so um, we don't need to go ahead and install RVM as of yet, um, but it probably make life easier if we did because we're going to install. We need Gem, uh, latest Gem version. Um, minimum requirement for Gems actually is 1.3.6, so we can get away with that. So that's cool. Um, so that's the that's us up to date with Gems. Um, So, uh, I think we can do echo gem home, or something along those lines. Uh, if we do, um, okay. So, because there's no there's no uh, path for gem home, and we really we want to be able to to know where gems is installed. So, um. What I'm gonna do is oops, just go ahead and tell it that the the gem binary is in user bin. Um, don't know whether this step's actually necessary, but oh no, this is actually for the gems, for the where Ruby gems will install packages to. So it might be it might be set from the get go, so we can skip that. 
um, if we need it we can come back to it. Most important thing is that we are able to um, come this application route which is here. You can see that we're in here and then we do gem install bundler. So if this basically says you know um, that it's that it's not happy with uh, the path then we can go ahead and adjust that but let's just give this a minute to get going okay so just kind of looking at the docs it don't look like we need um, it, it don't look like we probably don't look like we're going to need um, to set the path but I'm just going to check Okay, so this looks like it's our path. Uh, valid gems bundle. So just go ahead and do. So I mean, we could, you know, we can just do gem set gem home as uh, valid gems 1.8. You know, this path here. Um, I don't know if we actually reference it really again at any point. So I mean, it seems like quite a lot of effort. Well, it's one line. Um. Yeah, so let's let it go ahead and do that and we'll rejoin it once it's done. Okay, so right, we've got a uh, bundle installed. <clears throat> Your bundle is complete, use bundle show, so everybody's happy. So the uh, next thing that we're going to do is to go ahead and copy the next line, which is basically that. then copy the database config like that this is going to set up our database schema Work my email address in. Password, we're going to use password again. What do you want the users to see as the account name? This should probably be a name of your organization. So this can be Demo Primary School. Gar. We're locked in to help the developers apparently. Okay, so we've got to this point now, so we can just run the server in theory with the script server. Okay, so it's listening on part 3000, so what we can go ahead and do is jump over to here, go to the part 3000, um, just get the, make sure I've got the right IP. So, um, because that's running session what I'm going to have to just do is end that and then screen it. Ah. Screen just allows me to easily kind of work around it. Um, so I'm just going to quickly grab screen, then load it up into a screen, um, and then what I can do is find out the reason why I was having problems connecting to it. So we'll just rejoin it once it's grabbed. Okay, so we've got screen now. So I'm just going to load that into a screen and then I can control AD. You can see it's listening on 0000, zero, zero, zero dot, uh, port 3000, so turn that 0000, zero, 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 uh, 3000, that should be a connection. Um, okay, so it might be just taking a little while to listen. Yeah, there we go, right. So, what I'm just trying to do now is connect to the IP, assuming that I've got the right IP, so just come out of town there. Config. Ah, uh, it's two one two. So ten zero zero two one two on part three thousand. Let's 
So it's possible because it's only listening on localhost that um, it's not allowing connections on 212, but it is. I am confused. Ah, there we go. It was just, I think, probably the first load. It just takes a little while. So I'm just going to bring this down to a size where you guys can see it. All right. Uh, actually, I might need to zoom out a little touch. Okay, let's get rid of my bookmark bar because you don't want to see the size of it. So you can hear we've got the uh, email address uh, that I put in, which was John at myplayer.co.uk, and then the password, which is password. I'm just going to tell it to stay logged in just for now. And we can just log in. Um, on first run, it might just be a little bit clunky. Um, the box that I've installed it on has got a couple of gig of RAM, so it shouldn't be so bad. So there we go, we've got um, Canvas up and running. And that's it. Install done.